Good evening, and welcome to Thursday Compline at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We thank you for joining us for this very quiet way to end the day, this quiet and prayerful way to send our praises up to God as we do end the day. If you're with us, uh, we are guided by the Mission St. Clair app, but of course you can follow along with us in the Book of Common Prayer. And an order of service for that was sent out earlier this evening right here on our Facebook page. As always, if you are here with us, we ask you to leave us some kind of a reaction or comment to know that you are here praying with us as we pray with and for you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm number 134, and we will say this together, Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth, bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say our prayers responsively. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please join me now as we say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to say, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snare of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now have a moment of silence. as we pray for our own needs and those of others.
Gracious God, I lift up to you, St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, that you might continue to give us all your continual blessings and your abundant love and grace that we might do your mission in this place. Gracious God, I lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those with urgent need and those with ongoing need, that you might be with those people, be present with them and give them your care and concern. Gracious God, I lift up to you all the members of our military, National Guard and first responders, all of those who put themselves in harm's way for the protection of us, that you might guide, guard and protect them. Gracious God, I lift up to you all teachers, administrators, and students, that you might be with them to give your peace and your calm and your strength and courage in these trying times. And gracious God, I pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for David, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike for John and David, for Alexa and Lauren, for Enid and Jan. I pray for Bob and Dee and Adam, for Haley, Morgan and Emma, for Bo and Patty, for Kevin and Cindy, for Kyle, Jordan, Jamie and Ryan. Are there others to be named? Please join me now as we say together the Song of Simeon. The Song of Simeon. We will say this together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this evening and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank you for joining us for this prayer for Thursday evening service of Compline. And we're glad that you're here with us. Once again, if you are, we ask you to leave us some kind of a reaction or comment so that we can pray for you as you pray for and with us. In the midst of these tumultuous, tumultuous times, show self-care, take care of yourselves, keep yourselves healthy, take care of your own safety. My brothers and sisters, reach out to those you love. Make sure that they are safe and healthy as well. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, good night and God bless. <music>